What age do they teach you at school now? What age did you get taught sex education? About 14? My daughter's getting taught it. She's nine. Very rare. Do you know what the average age is in the UK? The average age in the UK is 14. Way too late, ladies and gentlemen. Who fucking wants to learn about sex education at 14? I don't want some teacher dragging his electronic tag across the classroom going, who wants to know the facts of life? Back off, Mr. Savile, I'm not interested. <laughs> Nine is the oldest it should be being taught. I think there could be a link, because you can draw a graph between the age that sex is taught and the teenage pregnancy rate in every country in Europe. Turns out, education leads to knowledge. Who'd have thought it? <laughs> And Scotland teaches it at eight now. There's only one country dragging its heels, us, teaching sex education to 14-year-olds, right? And you can't get it through. There's people like my dad, you know, the sort of right-wing, UKIPI type dad, shaving it, going, anyone speaks to little girls about sex, I'll come up that school, my fucking self, and rip the nonce's head off. I won't have it. <laughs> Even worse is uh, there was a woman called Melanie Phillips on Question Time recently. She's like a, just a detached head floating on sulphur. You'll be able to spot her. <laughs> And she came out with this. This woman's got degrees from Oxford and Cambridge and she's spouting this nonsense, right? She went, it's absolutely disgusting that we are considering teaching sex education to eight-year-old girls in Britain. Disgusting! You run the risk of speaking to an eight-year-old girl who might not be thinking about sex. You have then put the thoughts of sex into her head when she wasn't thinking about it to start with. There we are. Well, do you know what? She's not thinking about maths or the Tudors either. So let's not teach anyone fucking anything and let's see how far we go. <laughs> Unbelievable logic. I, I, I've got like younger cousins and that, and I do sometimes do gigs like at the festivals with all the younger people here. Do you know what the number one problem girls sort of 17, 18 are having? Let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, boys of 17, 18. Because do you know what's filling that gap of sex education? I'll tell you what. Porn. That's what's filling it. That's how most lads under 21 learn the facts of life. Now, I'm not anti-pornography, don't get me wrong. Look at the size of my forearm, right? <laughs> Look at that swan. Yes, mate. <laughs> I'm not anti-pornography. I'm just, I'm putting it in the same category as a little bit of skunkweed or a little bit of booze. Too much, too young is going to damage your brain, right? I know that probably makes me sound old-fashioned and maybe I'm getting a bit older, but I don't think if you're a 14-year-old lad you should be mainlining American, no disrespect, pornography 24 freaking 7. I mean, my generation, it, we had dial-up. You had to work for it. It might, <laughs> it might be 15 minutes till you got an areola, if you were lucky. <laughs> That's my mum, I'm just going to phone Lynn. Not yet! <laughs> Please don't phone Lynn. I'm nearly on nipple here. <laughs> the generation before hunted for porn in the woods with a spear, damp porn. Like, <laughs> relax, paper base, take it into the treehouse, Terry. <laughs> Women with staples in their faces, like that manual porn. Imagine it, analog. Not with cross eyes, I've added that on just because we're filming. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be specialist, wouldn't it? Cross eyed porn, could you imagine that? <laughs> I bet it exists as well. Let's Google it after. Is that what you like, is it? Say what you want, I'll look at you and your mate at the same time. <laughs> you know? Oh, let's not finish there. I'm gonna try and say something, say something to the girls. I've nearly got the girls laughing at a routine about Paul. Because I, th I think the problem is, ladies, if you don't mind me saying, is I wish we were American porn stars in this country, boys and girls. I really wish we were, but we're not, yeah? We're British people with dodgy teeth, wobbly bellies, Ventolin, and we're fucked, right? <laughs> So, if you think, if you're watching this and you're under 18 and you think real sex is like American porn, you're in for a bit of a shock when you get into a real relationship. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm glad all our women don't look the same. I don't want six foot tall, zero body fat, plastic breasted fucking androids walking around going, yeah, 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 I'm going, yeah, you dirty fucking bastard, yeah, yeah. No thanks. Not on this island, right? Not that we could do it in our tiny British houses anyway. They got foxes next door. You dirty fuckers! <laughs> sort your bins out. <laughs> and uh, it's it's not just that. It's the the men as well in this um, in this pornography. The men. I, mean, I, don't know, I don't know if you've taken a look at blokes lately, but we're having a bit of a crisis ourselves. One in ten of us living on chicken breasts, fucking creatine shakes, yeah? I've had five chicken breasts today, now I'm going to do a hundred bicep curls till I strip my pants. Huh? <laughs> the worry is, it's only one in a thousand women that actually want a man that looks like he shit his pants, but these men are like, this is what the girls want, they fucking want this, yeah? <laughs> Every time I cough, a fucking Malteser flies out. That's what the ladies want. <laughs> <laughs> they don't, gentlemen. 
gentlemen, that's for you and other men. Admit it. <laughs> and so, I, I would, if I'm going to watch pornography, I'd rather watch it, you know, with real people in, like with British accents, like doing it by a dog shit bin on a council estate. Something real. <laughs> I don't, uh, what's your name, sir? Chad. Chad, of course it is. And uh, what's your name? Emma. Chad and Emma. <laughs> Fucking brilliant. And, uh, <laughs> I mean, I don't know about you, Chad, but the blokes in this stuff, they make me feel bad about my own body. I do not want to see an 18 stone, 0% body fat, American Hulk man pumping like a sewing machine in a power surge. That doesn't make me feel good about myself. And not only that, Chad, they talk during sex. Talking! Can you fucking imagine it, Emma? <laughs> Having a chat. Do you like that, huh? You dirty girls, do you like that, huh? Do you see what I'm doing to you, you dirty fucking bitch? You see? Yeah, I see what you're doing. Yeah, too fucking right. You watch that, you dirty girl. You watch that. You I'm watching, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Having a chat. Not in this country. No, thank you. <laughs> huh? Imagine Chad and Emma doing that. Do you like that, Emma? Do you like what I'm doing? Do you like that? <laughs> I see what you're doing, Chad. Get on with it. We're going to miss the Ocado van, for fuck's sake. <laughs> oh, thanks. Use porn, but use it carefully. It's fun, it's not reality. 